the worst virus the U.S. has seen since West Nile, and we already have a cure. We've got fear out there, sir. People will be begging for the antidote. Art of Deception is written, produced, directed, and starred by Richard Ryan. A low-key conspiracy thriller with some interesting twists and turns. Scientist Joseph Markham becomes the victim of a relentless pursuit by CIA operatives after uncovering a global conspiracy that may lead into a massive humanitarian crisis. And will have to choose between exposing the truth to the world or saving the life of his kidnapped wife. I honestly enjoy seeing a good-looking scientist slash ex-operative kicking ass just as much as the guy next door. I mean, that's a cool trope, right? And I think Ryan does a fine job with the character in that department. The story evolves into a rather consistent conspiracy thriller. All the classic elements of the genre are included. The evil ploy by a powerful organization, the unlikely hero, the MacGuffin, the unexpected allied. You even have one of the main characters asking the following question. Do you know how many bones are in the human body? Classic. Jackie Nova, who plays the kidnapped wife, Valentina, was my favorite. She seems incredibly natural and spontaneous in all of her scenes. Besides, she totally aced all the physical challenges required by her character. The score is filled with eerie and tenseful arrangements that enhance the mood of the storytelling. But I do have to say that it overstates its welcome in a couple of scenes, where it seems like they felt they needed to have some music in the background just because. Occasionally, the script feels a little bit self-explanatory, with characters describing verbatim what we just saw happening on screen. And the climax also feels a little bit underdeveloped, especially when you think of all the build-up that led us to that point. Art of Deception may be perceived as an average action thriller movie, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Its minimal approach manages to put together an interesting enough plot while packing a few surprises along the way. So I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you happen to see Art of Deception, Please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.